Speaking of bringing the entertainment level up, Miro walked into Tony Khan's office on this television program. I popped. I absolutely popped. As soon as I saw his uh, cankles, I knew who it was. And I was like, oh, please, please. Yes, it's Miro. And then we never saw him again for the rest of the night. <laughs> I was about to say, he walked into Tony Khan's office and that was it. He walked into t and closed the door and that was it. If you watch that reality show, you know that Tony's not in his office. He's sitting by the monitor. He's sitting in Gorilla. Well, then I, I guess Miro was taking a shit in Tony's bathroom while he had the chance. Was Miro still in there when Thunder Rosa showed up? Was it like, I'm going to go confront to, oh, Miro, what are you doing here? Now, don't start any rumors. I'm not starting any rumors. I'm Miro's asking you a, a happily married man. That was not even close to any rumor that I was starting. You're starting well, that rumor. You talk about Thunder Rosa going in there and closing the door behind her, and we don't know what was going on in there. What else am I supposed to believe you're insinuating, kind sir? Did she not, in fact, later on in the program, walk up to Tony Khan's door, walk in the room, and close the door? Well, did we see Miro did. leave? Did we see Miro leave? The we room? never saw Miro leave. Did we see Tony enter or leave? Next time, if, if we see Thunder Rosa, if she's walking bow-legged, we'll know something's up. See, no, that's not what we're saying, and that's not what we're going to know is up, and that's not what we're alluding to. We're alluding to the fact that people are arriving and showing up for the first time in a long time on AEW TV, and they're seemingly hanging out in Tony Khan's office. They certainly are, and if any of them come out bow-legged, well, Miro's been mad at God, so... Anyway, then they, they did packages on all four of the pillars. MJF and Darby and Jungle Jack and Sammy, our friend Sammy. And MJF's was first. And, of course, he compared the pillars to the Beatles, and he ended up being Paul, uh, the most talented let me, let me, one. Yeah, let me stop you right there. I'm a big Beatles nut, and I love Paul McCartney, but what a great heat line that is yeah <laughs> paul because he's the one with all the talent oh yeah. what a great line <laughs> uh and 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 who brooding darby was george right or whatever but no uh jungle boy was george i think and darby was john lennon that's right darby was john lennon and that's actually like sammy's ringo <laughs> yeah there you go but anyway, it was it, these packages, especially this one, good editing and good material, and MJF went over the names, the list of names that he's beaten, Cody Rhodes and CM Punk. Well, that's the big blah, one. Blah, blah, blah. That yeah. may be the biggest mention of CM Punk since everything at all out. Well, and, and also it was nice that he got a fucking fall over Cody that he could mention also because the position Cody's in now elsewhere. But again, th this was a good package. 